there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, today's wine, the Caracal. Apparently the Caracal is a wild lynx and there's a picture of said beast on the label. Uh, the Caracal um, and uh, from Neatlingshof Winery and the blend is Cabernet Sauvignon Merlot Malbec Cabernet Franc. And we're in Stellenbosch and it's 2011. Let's give it a whirl. Well, it's funny, there's elements of uh, quite a few of the grapes coming through there. Uh, there's a, like a floral fresh lift, which I think is, uh, I think of as being the Malbec. Uh, there's a slightly stewed berry character, which I associate with, um, with Cabernet Sauvignon that's just gone that little bit too ripe, or maybe Merlot that's gone that little bit too ripe. Um, what I like about it is there's also a, like a fresher, slightly greener element. I don't know whether that, maybe that's the Cabernet Sauvignon. Simon, just taste it. Uh, actually, know a bit more about about how it smells first. Um, what I also notice is um, sometimes um, I, I don't get any of what I call the cape bake, that, that slightly burnt, baked, rubbery character. It smells like it's going to have, um, uh, it's going to be an honest, big, juicy mouthful of dark fruit. And I like that. Um, it's it's funny, I don't normally like wines in this sort of style where they're, they're, it's almost like too ripe, uh, Bordeaux blend, but um, uh, they seem to have done it really quite nicely here. There's intensity, uh, but there's freshness, and maybe I would have preferred the uh, the grapes to be grown in a slightly cooler place, so they don't have to get into that uh, baked spectrum in order to uh, to get the tannins right. Uh, but um, as I said, none of that cape bake. There's a richness there. There's a juiciness. There's a uh, voluptuous and yes, quite felt. Um, I, um, I and I also imagine that um, uh, thinking about what I'm left with, uh, there's a bit of tan in there and there's freshness and uh, some acidity. So um, anyone who cares to stick a bottle or two away for a few years will be agreeably surprised. Or if you can't be bothered doing that, open it a couple of hours before, slosh it in a jug, and I think you'll get. Um, it's good now, and I think it might be even better in a couple of hours. Maybe I'll report back on that. See you soon.